fish with head. We have a five-way color-coded glittering wave disposal system. Grey is for general waste, blue is for clean mix recycling, brown is for food waste, green is for compost and the red is for urban cycling with Chris Packer. Soft plastics like this that you can scrunch up, example, Oreo package, popcorn, flapjack, galaxy, go into general waste. So any soft plastic that you can scrunch up goes into general waste. Super snacks and things. Is it? Um, also, tissue and wipes also go into general waste. Okay. Because of COVID-19, our school is producing much more waste products that we haven't seen before. For example, disposable masks. Ideally, you should be using the recyclable ones. And if you have to wear these disposable ones, tear off all the plastic things before you put them in the bin so what, no wildlife gets caught in them. All of the elastic and things, is it Sandra? Yes. yes, super, thank you. Another type of waste we're seeing a lot more in 2020 are disposable sanitization wipes. After we've used them to wipe down a surface for our safety, you have to make sure to dispose them in the correct bin. The general waste bin, which is a grey bin. Things that go into our clean mixed recycling is hard clean plastic and paper and other examples is clean plastic bottles and empty soup containers and paper and newspaper and all that. Super. And what about yogurt containers, Mark, or something if like that? Clean. If they're clean. So we have to do what with them beforehand? Give Wash them a them. give them a rinse out. Uh, this is our compostable bin and um, we could put fruit, vegetables, um, fruit peelings, vegetable peelings and also tea bags and eggshells. Um, we don't put wrappers in it because they're not compostable. We put them in the general waste bin. Um, um, here, this year at Archbishop McHale College Tomb we are going to make our own compost on site by using a compost tumbler. It is very important that we put compostable uh, materials in the compost bin so that we, the members of the Green School Committee can make a compost lasagna out in the compost tumbler for us. So unfortunately, not all coffee cups are created equally. Some are compostable and some aren't. This one has metal paper, so you can compost this in the compost. And bin. does it say it on it somewhere, Liam, that it's compostable? It just says relax and compostable, but not all will say that. Okay. So you have to look up. So you can dump this one in the compost bin, but these, these are neat. We only have these need to be hot composted, and we only we don't have the facilities in the school to do hot. We can only do cold. So when you have the lids from these, you put these in the general waste. Lovely. Unfortunately, not all coffee cups can be composted or recycled. Some have an invisible thin layer to stop liquid from seeping out. Okay. If you see these, you put these in a the general waste. And always make sure to put these in the general waste as well when you compost it. Uncompostable goes in compost. I'm not compostable goes in general waste. Ideally, in Archbishop McHale College, there be our food waste bin will be empty. But if there is any food waste, we put.
cooked or processed food going in here. And what's, what do I mean by uh, cooked food? Give me an example, Dara, of what cooked food might be. Ham. Yeah, like the ham, super. Um, the biscuits also go in. Any leftover biscuits, lovely. Uh, rice cakes and bread. Lovely. So anything with more than one or two ingredients, basically, yeah? Yeah. Super. It's very important if we have two types of waste, like food waste and clean mixed recycling waste. You've got to take out the food waste and put it in the waste bin. And then you've got to put this in the clean mixed recycling instead of putting both in the clean waste. Very important that only crisps and potato packets go in those potato bins. It is very important to put them in the bin instead of chocolate wrappers and anything sweet. So where do the chocolate or, or snack wrappers go, Annie? The chocolate snack wrappers go in the general waste. Super. <laughs> and so crisp packet recycling is just for potatoes. Potatoes or crisps. No popcorn packets, no chocolate bar packets. Over two kilos of crisps that we collect. We get two euro for the care for shame fund. So far we've collected thousands of crisp packets, 3.5 kilos in weight to be exact, towards the care for shame fund. And we're working towards our target, which is eight kilos. So thanks to the members of the public that have sent them to us as well. Please keep them coming.